Hello guys, it's me Tori and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today we are building in The Sims 4 and I am so excited about this video because it is the start of my Christmas videos on my channel. And yes, you can tell by my voice how excited I am about this. So, I don't think this looks particularly Christmassy just yet, you will have to wait and see. This video is going to be in six parts, so we're starting today on Thursday the 12th of November. And the last video you will see, you will see one of these every thursday the last one will be christmas eve so exciting i'm so excited about this because i mean to be honest we don't really have a lot to look forward to at the minute i mean our simmers we have snowy escape releasing soon but apart from that we don't really have a lot to look forward to so i'm just kind of excited just to do my christmasy builds <laughs> and you're excited to watch them i mean you are right obviously because you clicked on this video so yes this is not going to be just one house no 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 but it is like seven houses there we go this is actually going to be christmas cul-de-sac thank you to my mother for suggesting this video name because i did not know what to name this build but basically it is a cul-de-sac because there's a few houses and you can enter like it's like a little road basically i did this on a 50 by 50 sorry 50 by 40 lot in newcrest and it's meant to be like a road but you can enter the road but you have to go out of the road the same way that you came in like there's no exit at the bottom and that is a cul-de-sac uh i think it can also be called a close but it didn't sound so good and my mum came up with the idea of cul-de-sac so it is a christmas cul-de-sac and i'm doing with this house some roofing thing so you've got an upstairs it looks kind of cool this house is like a semi-detached house there we go these are semi-detached houses because you have two houses that are attached together this actually looks like a pretty typical I would say British uh, road. I'm not sure. Maybe not. I'm not good at building British houses in The Sims, despite being British myself, because um, I just, it's hard. Because obviously doors don't have like letter boxes and there's only like mailboxes and stuff. So yeah, this kind of does look like a British cul-de-sac maybe. I mean, it's not very good. <laughs> But it's going to be very exciting. But currently I only have the base game installed. Um, if you didn't know this and you're new to my channel or you just didn't know about this. Uh, basically this computer that I'm using now. I broke it for a while. I completely messed up my hard drive. Then I got it fixed. And I've recently just installed The Sims 4 back on that. I got The Sims 3 like a while ago. And I got The Sims 4 on there again. And I started building. I was using my old laptop before this and it was a pain to do builds with. Like it literally overheated several times, but <laughs> it's fine. Here we are now. This is a semi detached house and I like it. I wanted to make these houses quite tall because obviously there's not going to be a lot of room, but these are all like the same sizes as like tiny homes. So I'm sure I can fit stuff in them. But the thing is, they're such weird shapes. But because I only have the base game installed, I don't even have the holiday celebration pack and we're just doing the shell today. If I didn't tell you guys that this was going to be a Christmassy build, you wouldn't even know. But that's fine because it's like November and to be honest, I know it's a little bit too early maybe for Christmassy stuff. I don't know, can it ever be too early? Probably not. This is coming from the person that wears Christmas socks in June. But <laughs> it doesn't look that Christmassy yet. I mean, we have red doors. Um... Today's just all about the shells, really, and making sure that they look good. Um, obviously, it's going to be in the snow eventually. I did draw up a pavement on the ground, like, using floors, and then realised that it's not going to be visible. So, I don't know. I'm going to use it as, like, a marker as to where I'm going to put my shrubs and stuff, because although it might be shrouded in snow, there's still going to be, like, plants outside, even though they're going to be slightly dead plants. I wish we had some holly bushes in The Sims, because that would be good. Like, we have a whole holiday, free holiday stuff pack. By the way, if you don't have the free holiday celebration stuff pack, it's good. It doesn't just have Christmas stuff in it as well. It has, like, Hanukkah stuff. So if you celebrate that, you can put that up in your Sims houses. And it's just got some good stuff in there that's, like, general good wintery stuff. So it's kind of a good pack to get. And it's free. So to be honest, you're kind of missing out if you don't have that. I, I, it's a good little free stuff pack and I'm still yet to download it um, on my new computer but it's good and I can't wait to put some of the new items in there because I haven't really built a lot with them and I can't wait but obviously as I only have base game installed it's not very Christmassy at the minute because I don't have any decorations 
but I can't wait to install this in the seasons and snowy escape. I don't really know what cast asset cast assets are in snowy escape. I'm hoping there's like some skis and like sludges and stuff because that would be kind of fun. So basically, my idea for this is that it's the whole road completely goes out every year for Christmas, and there's gonna be like um fir trees in the road like the like Christmassy style trees and they're there all year round and they have red painted front doors they all love Christmas basically to live in this road you kind of have to be obsessed and you just yeah you just love festive stuff and then at Christmas they all go out and they put Christmas decorations I feel so absolutely absurd talking about Christmas decorations and stuff like that in November but <laughs> It's fine. Honestly, it's fine. Um, did you catch my little Christmas intro earlier? Like with the little whoosh bit at the beginning. I kind of enjoyed that. I I enjoyed that a lot. I had fun making that. <laughs> and then I copied like one of the houses. Um, it did get its own little personality in the end. Don't worry. None of the houses, no two houses in this road are the same. Well, I suppose the semi-detached house is on the right-hand side. Oh, and I skipped. I skipped the other semi-detached houses. I skipped. I didn't mean to. I completely forgot to record them as part of the video. And now part of the backyard fencing has disappeared. And then I didn't know what to do with this house at the end. Because to make it fit, ideally, it shouldn't have a back garden. But I was like, well, all the other houses in this road have a back garden. I want this one too. So I put it forward a little bit. And it kind of means that the walkway to the other houses is a little bit covered by this big, great big house. But it's fine. This one has a little garden. I thought, I don't want to leave this one out. This is kind of cool. So they all have little gardens. They're not huge gardens, but... To be honest, I feel like the actual road is probably the best place to be. Like, that's the main hub. Like, oh my god, can you imagine playing there? Like, locking all the doors and having your sims there. And then having, like, all the kids' sims go out. And then they can all play outside the houses. And then there's going to be a great big Christmas tree. I, I'm i sorry, this is November. And I feel like I'm getting way too invested in this already. <laughs> I don't know I just think it's gonna be a really fun wholesome idea and I'm gonna do it for the next six weeks and I'm just super excited I feel like I need something right now to I don't know divert my attention and just to have something fun to do for the next six weeks so this is what I'm doing and also not only am I doing this every Thursday up to Christmas Eve I'm gonna be doing a big build on Fridays as well I don't know if I'm gonna spoil the theme or not yet that was just a placeholder that tree I move it in the end and now I'm putting down the road which was originally gonna be a normal road and then I realized there was no garages so what good is a car it's not we don't even have proper cars in the Sims 4 so who needs them not me. So this eventually turns into just normal pavement. I feel like if in real life they had like a garage that would be like off of this road somewhere. I don't know where. Like on the lot nearby probably. But I don't know what I was going to say about November. <laughs> yeah, I have another build coming up on Fridays. So you get to see it tomorrow. Don't know if I want to spoil it or not yet. But if you watch my Sims 3 Leprosy Part 3, you might have a little spoiler of what my big builds on Fridays is going to be. And it's going to be every Friday from the 13th of December to Christmas Day. I'm probably going to have two videos up on Christmas Day, hopefully, because I'm just giving away all my content right now. <laughs> because last year, I did this video where basically I got The Sims 4 for Christmas um, in 2017, and that's when I made my first sim. So last year I did a makeover of my first ever sim, and I want to do it again this year, which is going to be really exciting. So you might have two videos on Christmas Day, and that is my Christmas present to you. I feel like I'm talking faster than I would normally, because I just want to get so much in, because I'm like so excited about Christmas. I feel like it basically turns me into a child, <laughs> just like talking about it. I've done like loads of my shopping already online, and it's like, Ah, I just gotta like do some wrapping and then buy some more things and then I'm gonna be all good and yeah last year I put up my Christmas tree on November the 25th which my family thought was absurd and like way too early but I thought it was fine some people have their Christmas trees up now but I feel like it's a bit too early for me so I'm probably gonna stick again with the 25th of November because it's a month in advance and then I used to get like really sad as a child when the Christmas decorations were taken down. So I was like, no, Christmas is over. Oh my God, my life is ruined. 
But if you have them up on the 25th of November, by the end, you don't really get sick of it. Like, it's not ridiculous, but you're like, mm, my space is clean and tidy now. I get to properly, like, do some dusting. And yeah, it's, you kind of, it's okay. It's run its course a little bit and it can all go. So you don't really mind. And then I'm just, like, adding some more, like, doors and finishing touches of the shell. I will fix the fences in the next video. Don't worry about it. But anyway, we are coming up to the end of the first part of Christmas Cul-de-Sac 2020 Sims 4 Speed Build. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, Stay tuned for tomorrow's build and next week's build. So, yes, I am going to go now. Please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope you have a really good day and I will see you guys in my next video.